Alistair the Invoker was introduced in Fusion Enforcers on February 24th of 2017. Blue Eyes Shining Dragon was literally unplayable for about a year and a half due to Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon having not been released at the time. During the airing of Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds, cult activity in Japan was at an all-time high. The Japanese voice actor for Carly Carmine was revealed to be a part of a sex cult undergoing criminal investigation, and as a result, Carly's role in the anime moving forward was severely cut down and her voice actor was let go. The DDD structure deck was delayed for about 6 months and released in January of 2017. It was meta for about 2 weeks until Raging Tempest released in February 10th of 2017 and we can all figure out what happened next. Gen X ally Dora Dark saw play during Dragon Ruler format in order to counter Evil Swarm Ophion, being able to normal summon it and declare Dark, popping the Ophion. Farfa on Twitch currently has 63,800 followers. Between all of these followers, they share a collective 16 brain cells. Originally, there can only be one field spell on the field at a time, and activating one over the other would count as destroying the initial field spell that was on the field. This would be abused in very niche scenarios such as triggering Gear Town. Goddess of Whim's earliest printing, being in a McDonald's pack, had no once per turn on it, so for a period of time in Yu-Gi-Oh! history, players were able to infinitely flip a coin an infinite amount of times and technically have an infinite attack beat stick. The dimensions of a Yu-Gi-Oh! card are 6.05 by 8.75 centimeters. During a YCS featuring Patrick Hobbit, both players in a feature match gentlemen's agreement to decide out their Jins for Game 2, a card that would cause a really uninteractive special summon Floodgate lock. Patrick ended up citing one of his main deck Jins for one of his side deck Jins, effectively nullifying the gentlemen's agreement. At YCS London of 2017, a child was chosen to play at a YCS feature match. This kid, however, wasn't playing any real cohesive strategy and had the equivalent of binder bulk for a deck. His opponent? Jesse Cotton. Are you serious? This is torture. It's Necroz of Claw Law searches Necroz trap cards. However, as of recording this video, one doesn't exist. The Churia Pineapple was one of the most hyped up TCG exclusive before release because players thought that playing it in plants to serve as a pseudo treeborn frog to tribute for an Achuria bamboo shoot, a cold wave on legs, would be broken. It, of course, flopped. Lord Guy of the Fierce Knight was actually played during formats where people of set rotation would try and set cards such as Gateway to Chaos to their opponent's side of the field because on activation, the search would be mandatory. Lord Guy was kind of just the least bad target for it. According to the Konami official tournament store locator, there are 923 of these stores in North America. A 16-year-old kid showed up to his first YCS with a TG deck that cost about $50 and no plans to stay for day 2 during Rabbit and Zector wind-up format, one of the most notoriously rock-paper-scissors format of all time. He won the event. Salaman Great Zebroid X has been out for a year in the TCG and has been printed twice, despite the fact that you still cannot legally activate its effect since the monster you are supposed to summon hasn't been imported into the TCG yet. In Edison format, Machina Force remains playable solely because of the fact that it is the only Machina card that's searchable off gear frame that fully pays for Fortress. Yu-Gi-Oh cards have an average weight of about 1.65 grams, and because cellulose, or cardboard, has a caloric density of 3.8 kilocalories per gram, Yu-Gi-Oh cards on average contain 6.27 kilocalories each. If you are an average man and need about 2,500 kilocalories per day, you would need to eat about 398.7 Yu-Gi-Oh cards, where if you are a female, the average calorie intake being 2,000 kilocalories, you would only need to eat 318.97 of them. Firewall Dragon is neither fire attribute nor a dragon type. Ancient City Rainbow Ruins is the only field spell with a spell speed 2 effect. Trishula, Dragon of the Ice Barrier, doesn't have to banish from all three zones it lists. However, Necros of Trishula does have to. Wind Effigy has the effect to treat itself as two tributes to summon a Wind Vanilla monster. At the time of its release, there was no Wind Vanilla monster that can take full use of its effect. Currently, however, there are only two cards that can take full use of its effect. A prize card and an effect monster. During Dragon Ruler format, players hyped up Pokey Drago, a common from Generation Force, and eventually hit a highest peak of about $7.
In multiple YCSs at the start of the XE's era, judges incorrectly ruled that monsters that were treated as overlay units were on the field, which caused many infamous incidents such as the tour guide Sangan Leviathan mine. Due to unclear rulings in the OCG, which of the Black Forest and Sangan originally used to be able to trigger when sent to the graveyard by any means, which includes from the deck or hand, making cards like Foolish Burial or Painful Choice even more broken. There are 41 Yu-Gi-Oh cards with the word AMONG in their text. However, there are 4,786 cards with the word US in their text. At one time, the premier Yu-Gi-Oh simulator where Dueling Network was copyright claimed and no other simulator had links was T-D-O-A-N-E, I'm not sure if I'm actually pronouncing that right, but whatever. A program that allegedly had spyware and included a Kaiba constantly asking for microtransactions. On Pojo's Card of the Day article regarding Max C a week before Storm of Ragnarok, the top review summed it up describing it as, realistically speaking, it probably isn't going to be enough to keep your opponent from performing a special summon. On its 2011 retrospective, they wrote, I grossly misjudged it upon its release. The most popular YouTube channel to have ever uploaded a Yu-Gi-Oh! related video is Critical. My highest viewed video is Farfa reacting to a Master Duel Normal Summon during the Farfa Subathon. Before, Team you know, Samurai X1's OCG first Bandless video so far, was a March Dance really discussion was, uh, in 2012. Okay that Team Samurai X1 here. The most viewed Yu-Gi-Oh! video of all time is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links game trailer featuring Mystic7 and that girl Trish, with a total of 78 million views. I summon Dark Magician. Direct attack. Ah, you got me. Told you I was the master. The fuck you say to me, you little shit! Yadagarasu was the oldest card on the Yu Gi Oh! Forbidden list that has been placed onto the Forbidden list and has never moved since. In a few rare cases, Crush Card Virus was released by mistake in certain Power of the Duelist sneak preview events in the place of Hidden Soldiers, but these copies would not be tournament legal until it was officially released as one of the SJC prize cards. The three Harpy ladies have names apparently. They are, respectively, Iro, Occupete, and Carano. Ocean Dragon Lord Neo Daedalus' original print was actually incorrect. It was missing its summoning restriction, being that you had to tribute a Levia Dragon Daedalus and it couldn't be normal summoned or set. This would be later corrected, of course. The only product to ever include Platinum Rare would be the Noble Knight Round Table Box. Buchin Hiroko, Yamato, Mizukuchi, Hirume, and Arashuda's designs are based on GX character designs, respectively Sayo, Judai, Chaz, Asuka, and Misawa. Statistically, you're more likely to get struck by lightning than opening all five pieces of Exodia in your starting hand. There are only two cards in the game whose effects you can use up to thrice per turn, Coach King Giant Trainer and Mare Mare. F.A. Auto Navigator isn't actually an AI, she's a member of Dawn Dragster's pit crew, and the little icon you see of her in F.A. Dead Heat is her avatar. You can see what she actually looks like in F.A. Overheat and in F.A. Winners. For about four years in the North American region, it was legal to revive the same copy of Baby Sarasaur Set You Destroyed with Overaptor and trigger its effect, despite no other card ever working this way, not even Petite Aranodon, due to a terrible ruling at a Canadian YCS. The ruling ended up staying because Julia Heidberg posted in the Judge Facebook group and confirmed with R&D and said that the ruling was correct, but they never really elaborated why. Currently, the only way to summon Neo Bubble Man is through the usage of a wild monster appears because you need metamorphosis in order to summon it normally. Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit is the only one of the Ghost Sisters that can use its effect while it's face up on the field. Despite Shadal's having a tuner monster, Shadal does not actually have a synchro monster within its archetype. This is because the monster that Shadal Falco is based off of is Gusto Falco, a tuner monster. Fire Formation Tensu is named after the second brightest star in the constellation of Ursa Major, and Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Bear is one of the monsters featured on that card. After Konami released the emergency ban list after Pepe's uh, complete dominance of the format, they forgot to actually update it on the ban list site and as a result, OTSs would actually result to printing out the press release and stapling it to things such as entries. If you multiply the first two digits on a Karakuri monster's model number, they always equal the rest of the digits. For example, Karakuri Ninja Model 7749 Nanashik is 7 times 7 equals 49. For Karakuri Komachi Model 224 Ninishi, 2 times 2 equals 4. 
This applies to all the Karakuri monsters except for Karakuri Barrel Model 96, Shinkuro, and Karakuri Spider. That's it. Subscribe. 6.0. Fuck!